no one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand so that those who enter may see the light. Luke 8.16 Have you all been? I hope you've all been fine. My week has been good. I'm about to start a new week that is full of life. But by the time you'll be getting this video, it will be the end of the week. I've decided to give you guys a little bit of different things. Today on my waking up routine, onto my exercise. My morning routine is usually like this and uh, I do like it. I like it a lot. I just read you guys Luke 8, 16. If you have, if you have a light and you have something good that you can do, go for it. Don't let anyone stop you, whether it's your parent, your sibling, your spouse. Go for it, no matter what it takes. Because no one lights a lamp and then puts it under a bed. No, they put it above so that everyone can see. So that the light can reach every corner of the room. Guys, you're about to see me do something I know most of you might not think I can do. You guys want to find out what it is? There you go. Yes, I can do splits. Don't be all over my DM starting to ask me if I can do splits or not. I can do splits. And as you can see, this is the kind of Jean Claude Van Damme kind of splits. Yeah, I've been quite flexible. When I was young, I did a little bit of Thai, that is Taekwondo. I did also a little bit of Karate. Mm, Kenpo Karate even. And then gymnastics. And uh, for those of you who have just known me right now, I have been a dancer also for so many years. Uh, I might not look like it, but yeah, I did. And especially I was uh, a breaking boy. I did a lot of b-boys and uh, things that need a lot of flexibility to do flips, spins, head spins, neck spins, side spins, and all kind of spins to jack hammers and uh, windmills and such, or even flares. Yeah, but I settled for the corporate life. So I couldn't dance for so long. I still keep a little bit of exercises to do here and there. Well, that's it. How you guys been? I hope your week has been fine. Mine has been good. Uh, I hope you're all having a good time. Because here in Kenya, oh, whew, last week we had quite a week. And our, our embattled deputy president, that is, is still fighting for his life in politics. Guys, you know what? Look at this here. I have aloe vera right there. This is your boy saying hi to you guys. Say hi back. I like when the light hits me. These are I look like in the morning, by the way. And just, if you think I forgot, I haven't forgotten. I was talking about the embattled deputy president. Uh, we need a lot of prayers in our country. And I hope we all do pray. Because when you see your light getting shunned down like his ass, it's never a good thing. Uh, you can only trust God. Friends will put you aside. They will keep you off. But you can only trust God. I want you guys to know that I'm a man of faith. And I'm going to keep my faith way up high over there. Uh, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past. It doesn't matter what you've really been up to. But the, all you can say about it is that you need to keep your life well. So I'm reading this book that will also help in faith. You are the change. Arise and make a difference by Eric Opingo. This book is a life changing book. He speaks about people doing what their destiny is about what you feel deep down, what you know, what God has talked to you about, that's what you go for. That's what you really, really go for. So be sure to really, really go for what you really 
just believe in and what you know should be good i'm showing guys a few quotes uh like the ones that i'm highlighting here a little bit for you guys to see i learned that courage was not the absence of fear but the triumph over it that is nelson nelson mandela can you imagine he just say that courage was not absence of fear but the triumph over it so when you triumph over fear that's courage you see and uh there's even much more here to really to really even see uh Eric Opingo has really made this book a nice one. Like literally, it literally it's amazing what this book is about. Things like try to find out how others conquer their fears. So many people in history have been conquering their fears time and time and again. And it's a good thing to really know how to conquer your fear how to be an expert how to make sure that your light is not under the bed anymore but above one of the things that will make you go down is trying here i'm only showing you guys the next um just what i'm talking about right now i'm trying to find how others conquer their fears look at our parents if you're fearing to marry talk to people who have married and so on and so forth and everything that you need to do these are very nice book the next chapter will be amazing. Just reminding you guys a little bit that, yeah, I can still bust the move here and there. work got really intense here that I had to keep off completely I was checking out some employment uh, details see right now it looks like I'm through it seems like I did this job for a minute but let me tell you yo, I was on a timeline for like 30 minutes to an hour that I finished this thing so that I can be able to go I have another session that I need to attend one hour from this time so the next time right now i go, go i'm gonna go and get a matatu and here we are i always admire the way kenyans are so hard working like look at this it's like eight in the morning and people are already on businesses you guys tell me uh do you prefer working for someone or employment because i really feel like working for someone yet you want to build an empire for yourself and your children's 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 children it's best for you to really work for yourself because if you work for someone you won't really achieve that so well but if you can leave something that's yours for your bloodline for the future generation it's better but you can also work for someone because we have different personalities characters likes interests and it still works out but long term as for we've seen companies go down long term you might not have something to live for your children just because you are hr somewhere in a big farm doesn't mean your child will be as well but when you have a business you're gonna have to train your child growing up in that business all through and through yeah um for me i'm gonna just you know have my dinner i know it's a big leap but today i was just gonna show you my morning routine thanks for watching my video follow me on all socials at danny caspin thank you for always supporting me 
Cheers.